Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to perform a partial discharge measurement with the TDS-NT. Let's get started. To perform partial discharge measurements with the TDS-NT, the PDS-60 partial discharge coupler is required. To connect the TDS-NT for PD measurements, the high voltage lead is connected to the input of the PDS-60. Then the communication cable is connected to the comms port on the bottom of the coupler. Next, the high voltage return is connected to the grounding connection on the PDS-60. The high voltage output of the PDS-60 and the ground on the output side of the coupler are then connected to the cable to be tested. To begin PD testing, select the new measurement task icon. Find and select the cable you want to test and select the apply icon. The next step is to calibrate the system for PD measurements. Select the calibration icon. Then connect the partial discharge calibrator to the main conductor of the cable and the exposed concentric neutral. Use the calibrator to inject the discharge signal of one nanocoulomb. Select the start icon on the software. Once the calibration is complete, Save the calibration. Now you are ready to select the PD measurement icon and begin PD measurements. The first step of the measurement process is to measure and set the disturbance level. Select the disturbance level icon and start the measurement. Once the process is complete, save the disturbance level. To begin measuring partial discharge, set the proper voltage level per the cable rating and select the start icon. The green high voltage on button will illuminate. Press this button to output voltage and energize the cable. The red high voltage off button will illuminate as an indication that the cable is hot. Also, the status bar and the PD software cycles while the system is running. Once the partial discharge inception voltage is reached, save the PDIV measurement. Then you will lower the test voltage until the partial discharge extinction voltage is reached, or the point where PD no longer exists. Save this measurement as the PDEV. Next, ensure the overall PD measurements are saved. This concludes our discussion on performing a partial discharge test with a TDS-NT. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos, including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.